screws are all around us screws are used to hold objects together as well as moving things up and down let us understand terms like thread and pitch with the help of a model to place this eraser on the top of the box i can either lift it or slide it along this inclined plane one end of this thread is fixed here while other end is fixed to the pencil as i rotate the pencil and wrap the thread around a screw like pattern of the thread is seen with the pencil as a base a screw is an inclined plane that is wrapped around a cylinder the ridges formed are called threads this plane is steeper than the previous one if i repeat the same exercise i get fewer threads the work required to lift the eraser is same in both cases more effort is required for the steeper plane we can say that for two screws of equal length the one with less number of threads will need more effort some screws have more space between threads than others the distance between two threads is called pitch this screw has a small pitch this screw has a large pitch to find out more about pitch let us take pencil wires and a ruler two small wires are fixed at the end such that the pencil can rotate freely along the ruler another wire is used to create threads around the pencil if we place a small steel ball and rotate the pencil it moves forward You can calculate the distance covered by the ball in one rotation of the pencil. It should be equal to the pitch of the screw. It comes back as we rotate it other way round. With this plastic bottle, we can also view how the screw movement takes place inside the object. With the help of a ruler, you can find out how much screw moves with each rotation this is how most screws work they are called right handed screws there are left handed screws as well these screws operate exactly opposite to the conventional ones do try these variations to explore more about screws
Archimedes applied a principle of screw to help farmers lift and move water from river to the fields. How he did it? We will see in the next video. Thank you.